Hey, what's up guys? Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV and in this video, I will share with you guys my unboxing and the first impressions of the Huawei P40 Pro. So let's check it out. Now the Huawei P40 Pro comes in a white box with the Huawei P40 Pro in the middle and Ultra Vision Squad camera with the Leica logo at the bottom. Opening the box immediately reveals the phone itself. Underneath, you'll find a white box with the SIM ejector pin on the outside. And since this is a review unit, or a non-retail unit, there's no soft clear phone case but keep in mind that a retail unit comes with a soft clear phone case. Then you'll find a USB A to USB C cable and the Huawei 40 watt supercharger. Now starting from the design, since this is a flagship device, it is made of glass with the curved displays at the side with the aluminium frame. Now Huawei introduces the square camera design at the back where the lenses are placed in a vertical position. Now overall what surprised me is the fact that when I held the phone, I did not feel that it was as slippery as the Mate 30 Pro's non-5G variant so that is surely a good thing to note. Now as for the colour options, the one which I have is called the Deep Sea Blue and I'm eager to see which one of the other colours that will be brought in here in Malaysia. Alright, looking at the phone screen, it comes with a 6.58 inch AMOLED display which is great news for those of you who prefer not having a huge screen on a phone and it comes with a resolution of 2640 by 1200 pixels. Now there's a pill shaped hole punch at the front of the screen which fits the camera and also the IR sensor which as you guys know that I'm more of a fan of the hole punch as opposed to a huge notch right in the middle. Now this curved edges is known as the quad curve overflow display as it literally overflows to the side and it comes with a 90Hz refresh rate with a really fast in-display fingerprint sensor. Now looking at the phone spots and buttons, looking down below there is the USB-C port with the speaker grill and the nano SIM and the NM card slot which is Huawei's proprietary memory card slot. Then looking on the right there is the volume rocker and also the power button similar to what you see in the power button in the Mi 30 Pro and then on top there is the IR blaster. Now if you guys are familiar with the P series from Huawei, you probably already know that the main focus for this series is of course its cameras. Coming with the largest camera sensor in 2020, this P40 series is currently the most advanced smartphone camera systems which comes really close to the standards of DSLR cameras and is widely known by users here in Malaysia that the P series is a smartphone which has really good photography skills. But before talking more about that, let's look at the camera specs. So the Huawei P40 Pro comes with four cameras at the back. First is a 50 megapixel f1.9 lens with the RYYB sensor and OIS for the main lens, a 40 megapixel f1.8 ultra wide angle lens, a 12 megapixel periscope 50 times digital and 10 times optical telephoto, which is also equipped with the RYYB sensor and a 3D TOF depth sensor. Then looking at the front camera, there is the 32 megapixel f2.0 lens and the other is the IR catered to a face unlocking situation and also for low light situations. So as I was mentioning earlier, this is another collaboration between Huawei and also Leica where they have been collaborating way back since the P9 series and this time around there's some additional cool features built into the app like the AI features which introduces the Huawei Golden Snap which includes the AI reflection which actually removes any additional reflection when you're taking photos. Then there's also the AI remove passerby which removes photo bombers up to two persons where it combines several frames into one to have a nicer and a cleaner background. And finally, there's the AI best moment which gives you the best shot when taking moving objects. Now since this is a review unit or the non-retail unit, I don't have these features to test this out yet. But as usual, stay tuned and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you guys haven't done so as I'll go in depth to test out those features and the overall camera test samples for all of the lenses during my full video review of the phone. 
So the good news is that Huawei has improved the video taking capabilities where there is now the HDR 4K video recording with the telephoto lens being fitted with the RYYB color fitted array. As a person who shoots RAW with a super 35 sensor camera for my YouTube videos, I know that it will look great. Then there's now the audio zoom capabilities where once you take a video of a sound, the more you zoom, the more louder it gets. And since it comes with a larger sensor, you can record ultra low light in a massive ISO level of 51,200. And like the Mate 30 Pro, there's also 7,680 frames per second slow motion video. And the icing on the cake is the fact that now the front camera records up to 4K 60 frames per second as well. Now, as for the insides of the phone, it has a Kirin 990 5G chipset. So yes, indeed, this is another 5G phone from Huawei and it supports the dual 5G bands which is the standalone and the non-standalone bands. Now if you guys want to learn more about this type of 5G bands, especially what's the difference between a standalone and a non-standalone, I will link that video right above for a further explanation on that. Then this particular variant comes with 8 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of storage. Now in terms of the phone software, it comes shipped with Android 10 with EMUI 10.1 and here's where there are some cool added features like the Huawei Meet Time which is similar to FaceTime and also WeChat or even WhatsApp video but the difference is that the streaming is in full HD instead of 720p as it is for the other softwares and what's great is that it doesn't consume as much data compared to other softwares as well. And since the front camera is equipped with the IR sensor as mentioned earlier, you will be able to see the other person under a low light situation which again is another feature which I'm really looking to test out really soon. And like other newly released devices from Huawei, the Huawei Share and the multi-screen collaboration is still present in the phone to easily transfer files from your phone to your MateBook and the upcoming release of the MatePad Pro which I'm going to be reviewing really soon. And speaking of videos, I've also released a video about a proper guide on how you can make full use and other means to get your favorite apps on this and upcoming releases from Huawei, which I'll also link right above. Now, as for the phone's battery, the Huawei P40 Pro comes with 4,200 milliamps of battery and with a 40 watts fast charging, which as you guys have seen, comes inside of the box. And yes, once I use this phone as my daily driver, I'll let you guys know how the battery performs. Now stay tuned once again here for the exact price announcement and the availability of the phone here in Malaysia. So with this, do let me know what you guys like to know about the Huawei P40 Pro down at the comment section below. And as usual, I'll reply your comments in the full video review of the phone. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Do give this video one of these and like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you guys haven't done so, especially for my upcoming release of the full video review of the phone. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video.